Hello, so good evening for our plate 6, Centroid. Well first, from our three views, we will get the side view and we will put it on a reference point. Here, I am just labeling the parts so it's easy to identify. I am also identifying the main parts, the propeller group, fuselage group, the tail group, the wing group, the landing gear group. So in this part, since I will be separating them into groups, so my group weights will can easily identify the parts. I am adjusting their regions to make sure that they will fit. And so I sent it to my group mates. After that, I had them send me a file with their respective parts and centroids. So here I am just compiling uh, the centroids that they did and my centroids. And I will be making here uh, the main centroid of the aircraft. So here basically I am just uh, relabeling the layers so it will be easier for me to identify which group I am in or which group I am doing. So here I am relabeling the centroids to have a uniform format. So as you can see on our excel sheet, we all have the centroids computed already. So I will just be inputting them in the AutoCAD to identify the respective centroids of each section. So there we have it, I have identified already the centroid of the whole aircraft and here I am just making a legend, the sign for each group and the sign for the main centroid.
And here it is, I am plotting my aircraft in the proper scale. So what I'm doing here is I made a copy of the whole aircraft that has already centroids. Then I will be plotting the uh, parts, the group parts, and putting their respective computations beside of the part. So like what we did on the plate of centroids on plate 5, here I am just inputting the Excel file using the input insert table and I had to make sure that the format on the Excel sheet is already final before I put them in AutoCAD. Here I am just checking the sheets if they are uniform and if they are not I am making them uniform so it's easier to put them on the AutoCAD. So here I am adjusting some of my errors. I've replotted the propeller group. And I will be plotting the coordinates on another sheet. So that goes the same with the engine group. Basically, scale it, plot it. Insert the table and plot the table.
And we're almost done. As you can see, I've plotted them in separate PDFs. And after I, I finish them, I will merge them into one file. And after that, it's finished. Thank you for watching.